gosh, let's go! <laughs> Welcome back to another Deck Doctor, where I get to doctor up and refine your decks. In this video, we're going to be doctoring up Doge the Alien's Cthune Nazoth Demon Hunter. So with those of you that are unfamiliar with Deck Doctor, how it usually goes is we play a few games with the original list as is, and then we'll go ahead and doctor it up, we'll make some changes, and we'll play some more games, we'll kind of go back and forth until we get it to a really good spot. Now this looks like a really spicy list here, there's a lot of stuff going on here, so for the Nazoth, we have a dragon with the Alexstrasza, we got a demon, we got a Murloc, we even have an elemental in here and to get to our Cthune faster we do also have a skull of Gul'dan with like the pole kelt so what we can do is we can pole kelt getting our like Nazoth and our top end there and we go straight into our skull of Gul'dan into our Cthune pieces so we can complete that as well and then just to make sure that we can get to that late game we do have an early control package as you can see right here too so I'm super excited to try this one out it looks really interesting and if you like this deck doctor series and if you like this particular deck then let me know by leaving a like down below that really does help me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and if you you want to see the most unique creative homebrew off meta decks out there on youtube then subscribe because that is all we do on this channel but let's hop into the action now stay funky okay shaman i do actually like uh ibm against the shaman um do i ever want an illidari studies it could help me find like a kerchus would be really good yeah we'll keep it there's a, there's a lot of things that'd be really good against the shaman like Kurtrus, the weapon, another I beam. Mm, buenísimo, buenísimo. Yes, yeah, squad. Yep, we're one and two right now. So see if we can break even. See if we can go two and two and two. Okay. I don't want to illustrate Illidari, Illidari studies yet. Not until I can uh, guarantee I can play that card that I get. I got a new uh, water bottle over the weekend. You guys like my new water jug? <laughs> Any of you OG viewers out there remember that I always used to get like a gallon, but gallon water jug, but that one broke. It's been a while since I got a new one. That is a big water bottle. It's a gallon. What, what is that? What is that in liters? 4.2 liters or something? How I don't. I don't even know. I'm terrible at the metric system. I'm a typical American. Four, yeah, it's like four, four point two or something, right? Liters. Some thick hydration. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. Yo, what's up, Superior David? How you doing, dude? Good to see ya. I'm just gonna play the Fellhound here. We'll make them like run into it or something. Yeah, I know. I will. Okay, so the reason why I like these huge water jugs is because I just fill it up once and I just drink it all and like that's my water for the day. So it's really easy for me to keep track. So, you know, you know. All right, give me a Kurtrus. I've never wanted a Kurtrus more in my life. Give it to me. Give it to me. Dang it. I mean, I guess all these I beams is pretty good, too. <laughs> it's not bad. They're outcasted, so, you know. Swink, swink. Okay, I mean, that dies to a uh, immolation aura. No Kurcher is Sag. That's fine, we'll manage, we'll manage. I have no idea what a gallon is. Gallon of water? Yeah, like 4.2 liters. Wait, actually, let me Google that. I'm not even sure. Gallon to liters. Oh, 3.8. There you go. 3.8 liters. Oh, we're ripping that. Easy. Isn't two liters the recommended? I mean, I would say two liters is like the minimum. I, there, I wouldn't say like there, there's ever like a recommended because everybody's needs are different. You know, people are different sizes. People have different activities throughout the day. I would say two liters is like the minimum, no matter who you are.
But I do like to work out a lot, so I drink a lot more water too. I try to be active. Okay. Oh, the Maw of Cthulhu off the top. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You'll love to see it. Next turn, we'll just Taint Heart Tormentor. Turn after that, we'll Nazoth. Everybody needs to drink more water. Like, if you think that you're drinking enough water, drink a little bit more. And then you will. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll just taint hard here. Next turn we can Nazoth. It does kind of mess up their, uh, if they have any more like lightning bolts or serpent shrine portals or anything. They could also maybe like punch this and punch this. Take eight damage to the face. The hex minion, right? Yep, yep, that's a possibility. And um, we kind of had to just go for it though and hope they didn't have it. But yeah, it is a possibility that they had it. But a big 8-8 taunt is... If they don't have it, it's just too good. Ooh, they passed the turn. Ooh, this is good. Ooh, this is good. Okay, so we do something like... Double jump gets me a skull. Actually, kind of like double jump here. Don't use it yet, though. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, we're actually doing it, guys. We're doing it. All oh, that spell damage, though. Always more water. You can never have enough water. In the UK, don't you measure it in T? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Done one liter? Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, let's get a... Let's get another Taint Heart Tormentor back. We have had a Fellhound die too, I think, right? Ooh, yeah. Hmm. I was, I was really not hoping for that one. I was really not hoping for the 50-50 on that. Hmm. I mean, at least next turn we have Skull of Gul'dan. I don't know. We do have a lot of damage on the board. Maybe they don't kill us. Okay, so they don't kill us. That's good. That's good. Okay. Oh man, close game. Um, yeah, let's go study. See if we can find like an I-beam here. No I-beam? Probably just Sizzle Runner here. I need healing. I need to be looking for like war blades, I think. Let's see if we can find one. Oh, there it is. There it is, guys. What else can this find us? Okay, okay, we're kind of doing it. We're kind of doing the thing. T is gross. I agree. I agree. Now, I could definitely see, like, so my wife absolutely loves tea. I absolutely hate tea. It's really funny. But I've tried so hard to like tea. Like, my wife always tries to get me to try all these different kinds of teas. I have not found one yet that I like. <laughs> I don't know why. My taste buds just won't allow it. Ooh, is this lethal? Ooh. Oh my goodness, we got there, guys. We got there. <sighs> Barely. Barely. Well played indeed. I guess like Immolation Ore is good against like tokens or glow flies. Um, don't really like that Sigil of Flame. 
What am I looking for here? Imagine attacking the Blood Herald. He would have gotten an A drop. Yeah, exactly, squad. Yeah, yeah. I for sure did not want to do that. Yep. That's why I just wanted to attack face. And yo, Snookina, how's it going? Good to see you, good to see you. Looks like an interesting deck. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty fun deck so far. This was made by Doge the Alien for our deck doctor today. So uh, this is the original list. And then after a few games, we're gonna go ahead and doctor it up. We're gonna refine it a little bit. It's tough though. I might want to go like Sigil Flame right now. Like, do, do I wait until they glow fly? That's like the thing. Like, if I wait until they glow fly, then they just buff up the glow flies past the Sigil Flame point, you know? I guess for now we're doing this. Yeah, we do have a lot of AoE. That's good. That's good. Uh, I'm a little bit scared if it's like Jean Bright Jude and they pop off with like a Lady Anaconda. But if it's just like a token Jude and they just glow fly, I'm okay with that. Finally, I'm seeing you live and following you on YouTube since forever. Well, thank you for following me on YouTube, Sadness. And uh, yeah, good to see you live as well. Feelings mutual. I think we're going to do that. We do have two more AoEs to last until we can skull. And yo, squad gifting a one month sub to Astro. Yo, squad, thank you so much for that. Yo, let's hype that up. Let's go, let's go, baby. Yo, welcome to the Funky Fam Astro. Enjoy those emotes, app reviewing, all that good stuff. Yeah, let's see some hype for that. Thank you so much, squad. Growing the Funky Fam like crazy, I love to see it. All right, it's Pole Kelt time. I am a little bit afraid if it's, let's see, so they did Fungal Fortunes and they are ramping. So we know that they're not guardian animals. So it is the, uh, it is the Owl Druid. How many games have I played with this so far, Chris? This is my first, or this is my second game. So I've only played one so far. Um, ooh. Well. Well, well. Yeah, I think that has to be the play. Holy cow, dude. I mean, I leave him with what? Three dudes. No, two dudes. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, if we can get the Taint Heart Tormentor. Oh, that's going to completely shut him down as well. Oh, we might even be able to Mutinous and eat their uh, Anaconda too. Oh, come on. Don't Anaconda me right now. I want to be able to eat it. Nom, 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 nom. I want more sigil synergy. I want like, I'm really hoping for something to uh, synergize with sigils. Like your sigils like activate now instead of like next turn to kind of thing. Okay, I mean, Taint Heart next turn is good. Yeah, I have no idea. Kurtrus? I mean, oh, Kurtrus is good. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what to do here. Like, I'm, I'm just dead, right? Because like, at the end of each turn, so it's at the end of my turn too, so they can just buff these guys up. So like, holy cow, dude, Anixia. Anixia is actually really good now, the reworked Anixia. Holy cow. Like, if you don't deal with her, you're in trouble. Is this Jean Bray Druid really that good? Um, against certain decks. Against some decks, it just like crushes it, but against other decks, um, it just gets crushed. <laughs> so. I guess for now we can just like taint heart here, buy us some time maybe. We do we do top deck another skull next turn, and we'll have more mana to use it. 
Um, so like, so John Bray Druid is really bad going into control matchups. So like, if you face like Priest, um, Control Warrior, uh, Control Warlock, like it pretty much automatically loses against those decks. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Mm. Still weren't able to get a good like Nazoth or uh, Alexstrasza. All right, so let's go ahead and doctor this bad boy up. Let's put on our doctor gloves. Let's put on our surgical masks, our doctor hat. I need to get all that stuff. I need to get props here. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and doctor this bad boy up here. How do we want to refine this? Okay, so in this deck, we need to decide which direction we're going to be going. I think the Cthulhu and the Nazoth kind of clash against each other. So which direction are we going to go? Are we going to go the Nazoth route or are we going to go the Cthulhu route? We kind of have a really good like early game that says control. I do like the pole kelt into like Skull of Gul'dan, like if we can go that route. So I actually kind of want to drop the Nazoth, actually. I want to make this a Cthulhu deck. So we could drop the Nazoth, Alex, Taint Heart, and Mutinous. So we could drop these four cards right here. And then um, the top end is Skull of Gul'dan. So we can go pull Kelt into Skull of Gul'dan into our Cthulhu pieces. I think that'll require fewer changes because if we want to go the Nazoth route, I think we're going to have to change the deck more. Um, I would like maybe a better elemental than the Steward of Scrolls. Um, I would like maybe to take out the Fellhound and maybe go big on the uh, demons. So, but that's already kind of getting a little bit too close to meta. So I want to go as off meta as I can here. So I think if we're going to go as off meta as we can, I think the route we do that is with the Cthulhu. So let's just take out the top end here of the Nazoth. I think like we just have to, yeah, if we want to go the Nazoth route, we'll have to take out a lot of this early game control stuff. Um, if we go with the Cthulhu route, then we're going to want to take out some of this top end stuff of like the Nazoth, the Mutinous and stuff like that. Um, I do like that. So instead of the Steward of the Scrolls, we can also put the Arcanist in here. The Talented Arcanist. Talented. Something like that. Get some huge uh, AOE turns. Um, what else draws? We're just going to want to draw like a freaking madman. Actually, the Kazakas is maybe not that bad. I don't know how I feel about the Fellhound. We're going a little bit more of a control route. The Dungar card. Ooh, the Dungar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe play him for more damage so the Cthulhu can connect better. Um, play him for the healing. Okay, yo. I'm okay with that. It's a lot of healing as well. We could even put like some Moargs in here as well, too. Uh, combine that with like I beams, immolation auras, you know, stuff like that. I don't know if we necessarily need to copy them, so I don't think we need the philosophies. Um, we just want to be drawing, right? So we can go like Crimson Sigil Runner. Just make it a very kind of cheap deck. Uh, we don't necessarily need the Warblades because we don't have any attack buffs for the Warblades. Um, yeah, Sigil Runner. I kind of like double jump in here as well, too. Just make it super low curve even more. Wand Maker. Wand Maker could be good. Yep. A little bit of a uh, development is always good. I think instead of the flame. Yeah, it's a little bit more proactive. I was like being a little bit more proactive than uh, reactive, if we can. Kind of have to run Ilganoth. Uh, do we, though? I want to try to avoid it because that's getting a little bit too close to meta. Yeah. OK, let's try something like this here. OK, against a rogue. <laughs> spectral sight, spectral sight. Kind of depends on what we get over on this side, though. But these two cards do cycle quickly. I think I keep these two. Venomous Scorpion for Discover. Yeah, we could maybe use a Venomous Scorpion in here. Um, I don't want to generate too much. I want to be drawing more than generating. Okay, skull. Ooh, we could easily get the skull to the left side of our hand. Here we go. Control Demon Hunter. Yeah, with Cthulhu. You have my attention. Reminds me of, uh, has everybody seen the movie, uh, was it Django? Reminds me of the famous Leonardo DiCaprio line. Uh, how does, how does it go? Like, at first you had my interest, but now you have my attention or something like that. We're all waiting for the Zai meta. Oh, dude, Z Davey, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm going to make it happen. They will never catch me. 
Ambush? No ambush. Ooh, next turn we get Kazakus. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. Oh, yeah, Fury, I guess, is a, a card. So many possibilities. Fun decks, yet people to play the same decks over and over. Yeah. I'm waiting for really good cards to uh, copy with Zai as well. I want more token synergy. That's what I want. I want, like, Blood Herald to be a thing. I, I really loved uh, that seven mana uh, token card. Poisonous? Okay. That's a, that's a start. Poisonous deal three. Um, I could also go Divine Shield. That's also very tough for a rogue to deal with. All this stuff is small, so I guess I don't need Poisonous. Let's go Divine Shield here. Um, oh, Divine Shield copy? Divine Shield copy. Okay. I honestly can't play into the Boozle. I get wrecked if it's Boozle here. Goes into a six cost minion. Yeah, I can't remove that. Okay. Mm yeah, good, uh, good golem here. I could boozle this. I guess I don't mind boozling this. All right, let's find out. Aha, it is. Yes, got him. Yeah, okay, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Got him. Oh, we got him so good. Tough turn, yeah. I mean, like, even if it is Boozle, we denied the discount to, what, six cards in hand. So that's why, like, I didn't really didn't mind uh, Boozling there. Five mana, 10, 10 Divine Shield. You know, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> I could even, like, start smorking him if I want to. We do have some damage and stuff. I don't want to test another Boozle. Yeah, playing around all these secrets is kind of tough. Blackjack Center. Actually, you know what, though? I would love another one. Hey, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll play it again for six mana. Don't mind if I do. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, test the other boozle here. Okay. Um, it could be an immolation or a turn, actually. I will do something like this here. We'll play a little defensively. I mean, we have a handful of cards, so. I'm really looking for some kind of heal, though. Felscreen Blast or uh, I-Beam. Yeah. <laughs> Six mana, 10, 10 Divine Shield. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'll take that, too. Cool. Uh, I don't think we're dead here. Um, so let's get down the Dungar for some healing. I don't think we're dead here. Might be able to live for three more turns. Get that juicy, juicy heals. Kalamos plus Shutterrock. Oh, dude, Kalamos. Oh, you just have to bring up Kalamos, guys. Kalamos is one of my favorite cards of all time. Fun fact about me. Kalamos um, Elemental Shaman was actually the very first YouTube video I ever published. So yeah, got a lot of good times with Kalamos. Good times, good times. See if we can get an I-beam here. I'll just I-beam my own dude, just to live. Memories, oh man, the memories. <gasps> oh, 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 the I-beam. Oh, the I-beam. I hope it's ambush. Oh, it is. So I don't have to target my own dude. 
Oh, too good. Too good. Okay. You probably live for a couple more turns, right? Um, do I have a pull cult here? Get the skull on top. Into maw, heart, eye, body. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. I mean, we almost kill him too. If if we can just survive until this dude wakes up, we just kill him. You had to put him in the right deck, you know? <sighs> Absolutely perfect. Okay, so they don't have lethal here. I just need to survive for one turn here. Actually, I might even have lethal. We have 15 damage on board. Okay, that's good. Oh, 10 woo on this, just like so in clear. Okay. Okay. We have 10 damage. We need five damage. We need five damage. Um, this might be guaranteed lethal here. I have Cthune. Oh no! Oh no! Wait, hold on. Oh shoot! Oh no! <laughs> Did I completely whiff on the Eye of Cthune? No way, dude. There's no way. Oh my gosh. Okay, if I lose here, I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so upset if I lose here. Oh, seriously, we're one damage off here. I have Cthune was lethal. They can't wicked stab us for lethal here. Okay, so, so they're not going for lethal, which means that uh, Dungar at least gets to wake up. Okay. Whew. Okay, so we still might have lethal here with Eye of Cthune. So we do top deck the Eye next turn. You can easily debate like um, Yogg counterspell stuff. Oh man, Dungar. Dungar saving my butt. The dung is saving my butt. Got him. Um, let's hear this test. The Yog. This test, the Noble Sacrifice. Okay. Like, we just have lethal here with the Fury. Got him. Got him, baby. We actually could have completed a Cthulhu um, that turn as well, too. Play the tail in the next turn, draw the uh, Cthulhu on the following turn. So we actually had a two turn Cthulhu there, too. Okay, against a Druid. Against a Druid. Okay, I'll keep it all. I'll keep it all. I can make it work. Just popped into my head. Wouldn't Waste Warden be uh, pretty okay to run now? Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's good against, like, Token Druid. Good against Elemental Shaman. Yeah, just more versatile clears, like Landslide, I think you'd rather run. You'd rather run things like Immolation Aura kind of thing, where it just clears all minions. Like, Waste Warden is good against certain decks. I think it's more of a tech card. If your deck is more so struggling against, like, Token Druid or Elemental Shaman as the weakest matchup, then I can see it. But... Yeah, I, I think overall, like, you just rather have more versatile things. It's better against Priest, better against Warrior, you know. Okay, so we have two Cthune pieces already, though. 
All right, we might be able to complete a, uh, a Cthune here. The, the trick in this matchup, I think, will be lasting until turn 10. <laughs> Just surviving long enough for us to pull off the Cthune. It's going to be a tough matchup for us, for sure. Yo, Rodil! What's up, Rodil? How's it going? How's it going? Yeah, I mean, they're going to be at 10 mana when we're at 5, so... Um, big yikers. Big yikes. A little bit of chip damage in. And what do we have today, friends? We have a good old uh, Cthune Control Demon Hunter. This one was submitted by uh, Doge the Alien. Okay, so it is just Guardian Animals. So I get this Polk Elt. I might even want to just like Heart of Cthune here. I want to deny them card draw too. Yeah. Probably what I'll do. Uh, I could be in trouble if they survival next turn. Oh gosh. If they also have survival, like there's nothing I can do. There's just no chance. And yo, what's up, Zach? Got busy? Um, today we're focusing on Doge the Aliens deck. Hmm, so we can get an I-Beam. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for, baby. Okay, okay, here we go. So we have, what, nine cards, right? So we're not going to mill. Okay. I'm just waiting for them to survival here. <sighs> Double jump into I-Beam? Yeah, yeah. For sure. Okay, so they're drawing. Okay. So they're probably just looking for their survival at this point. Hey, <laughs> called it again. That big brain. That streamer luck. Ooh, they passed a turn? Okay. Ooh, I'll take a I'll take a pass turn. Okay, so next turn we get Skull of Golden. I kind of want them to play minions here, just so I can like I don't know, dump my hand a little bit. Uh, it usually happens around this time, usually the few weeks before the uh, an expansion. Everybody's just kind of chilling, just waiting for the new cards, waiting for the new meta. But I'm still having fun. I'm still innovating, you know. I'm still doing my thing. I guess I'd mill the dung master. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So I draw three, <clears throat> get the body, get the eye, get the Kazakus. I'm going to mill my uh, my Dung Master, but I think that's okay. I don't think I'm really going to need the Dung Master. I guess I could also mill an eye beam Either way, I don't really care about those guys. Jeez, am I really going to complete my Cthune before they get a survival down? Okay. And we love you for it. Ow. I love you guys for it too. <laughs> we gotta go for it, guys. Turn 9, complete the Cthune. Turn 10, top deck it. 1 out of 12 to top deck Cthune here. Ooh, we're doing it. We're doing it. If they just survival here, they could just straight up lose. Like, they might not even have a chance to play their clowns. Lore Ke no, Lore Keeper got reshuffled. Yep, so as soon as we shuffle in the Cthune, it reorders our deck again. So we no longer have the Cthune right on top. Oh, no! Wait, okay, so Cthune? Cthune is lethal? <sighs> Cthune is lethal? Come on! Cthune is lethal? <sighs> no! 
way! Oh my gosh, let's go! <laughs> oh, let's go! Easy! Easy peasy! <laughs> and this completes Duck Doctor. Uh, you know, honestly, I think so.